We have a voicemail number that you can call any time of day. If you have a message you would like to deliver to me, here is how do I explain this? Um, when we did a story last week about the people in tears outside Trump's conviction, there was one guy where I said, I don't even know if this is for real. This might be satire. He uh, <laughs> he had a father Teresa sign. It turns out that that one guy was just playing a prank. Everybody else were bona fide Trump supporters. And a bunch of you notified me about it. Here's one call about. That. Hey, David, uh, we watching your Trump supporters lose their minds outside court over guilty yeah. uh, verdict. And I just want to let you know, one of those guys that is going crazy is actually a comedian from Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah. And he got the man in the red hat who started screaming in the beginning of your video. The comedian got that guy worked up. And then <laughs> in 236 inside your clip, the guy who's holding the sign and looks like he's uh, – what was it? Free Father Teresa. He's the comedian. Yeah. Of Jimmy Kimmel. So, yeah. So listen, I stand corrected of the 12 Trump cultists sobbing and screaming after Trump's conviction that I played for you last week. Only 11 of them were bona fide cultists sobbing and screaming over Trump's conviction. One guy was a comedian from Jimmy Kimmel. So life imitates art. Art imitates life when we say indistinguishable from parody, it's really taken on a very specific and real meaning uh, when it comes to MAGA and the Magapotamians and the Magadonians. So they got me. One of the 12 was not a genuine supporter of Donald Trump. We've got a great bonus show for you today. Hey, the weaponized justice system of President Joe Biden is now moving forward with the Hunter Biden trial. What? Yes. And by the way, the same weaponized Joe Biden justice system is going after Democrat Bob Menendez and Democrat Henry Cuellar. Oh, my goodness. Joe Biden has weaponized the justice system against all these prominent Democrats. That doesn't make sense, does it? Well, we will discuss all of it on the bonus show. Secondly, Joe Biden is expected to sign an executive order that will temporarily shut down the border when numbers surge. Will Republicans praise him? Probably not. And the DOJ is accusing the far right Epic Times of being a money laundering operation. We've been keeping an eye on the Epic Times for a while, and they are now in the crosshairs of the DOJ for apparent money laundering. Couldn't happen to the nicest people. All of those stories and more on today's bonus show. Oh, the bonus show where you want to make money. Please. Everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad. Get instant access to the bonus show by signing up at joinpacman.com. I'll see you then, and I'll be back tomorrow.